I know that in my previous video, I stated that I would post a new video soon, but shortly after that, I started a new project which I've been devoting my video making time to. A Tesla Coil The idea of homemade lightning fascinated me, so I decided to build one. Here's what I've done so far. Here are the schematics for the Tesla coil I'm building. The neon sign transformer I'm using to power it is rated at 9 kilovolts or 9,000 volts and 30 milliamps. I built a static spark gap, which is a spark gap that doesn't move, which is made out of two stainless steel, actually they're not stainless, but it doesn't really matter, steel machine bolts, which are one fourth inch apart. In, in millimeters at six millimeters and each one or each electrode of the spark gap is directly connected to each electrode on the neon sign transformer. One of the spark gap electrodes goes to the capacitor bank which is made out of six beer bottle or salt water capacitors wired in parallel. The salt water capacitors are wrapped in aluminum foil being one electrode and having a wire going in to salt water with an oil layer on top being the other. Then the other lead or the aluminum foil lead of the capacitors goes to the primary which is 10 turns of 10 gauge stranded which isn't that good but I'm still using it wire which is wrapped around a clear CD holder which goes back to the other electrode on the spark gap. The secondary is 16 inches tall and is around 900 turns of 26 gauge magnet wire which add up to about 15 inches of total length of winding and the top toroid is probably going to be aluminum and the spark should be around 6 inches long. I got a lot of information about this from DevCoder, a user on Instructables.com. Check him out if you didn't know about him already. Here's my neon sign transformer. There you can see the wall plug-in adapter, whatever you want to call it. There are two wires, which are the leads. Here are the specifications about the unit. I'm not going to read them all. I'm just going to say that it's rated at 9,000 volts and 30 milliamps. Here are the two wires, which are the two leads. doesn't really matter which is positive or negative. Each one goes to one electrode of the spark gap. And then one electrode of the spark gap goes to the capacitors, wired in parallel, tops wired together, and wrapped in aluminum foil, put on an aluminum tray in a plastic tray. So they're all connected. Then this little machine screw comes out and is connected to the aluminum which goes to the primary and then the other end of the primary goes back to the spark gap electrode well the other one here's some supplies I use this is the aluminum tray I use to connect the aluminum electrodes on the capacitor bank here's some schematics I made here's some 6 gauge wire I thought of using for the primary but it was too hard to turn and it would go back to its original shape. Here's some enamel spray which I'm going to use with the secondary which I haven't made yet. Here's a small secondary which is not the one I'm going to make but it works. I've gone in about half an inch sparks off of it. Here's the PVC I'm going to use for my real secondary. It's about 16 inches tall and almost 2 inches thick. Wide, whatever you want to call it. Here's a beer bottle I thought of using for my capacitor bank, but I haven't used it yet. Here's a really crappy aluminum ball toroid thing. It's not really a toroid, but it works. Here's some wire connectors. And that's about it. Here I'm going to show you guys a test without the secondary. And I know it's sort of pointless to test it without the secondary. 
but I'm just seeing if the wiring's right and it's all connected. You'll see the spark app fire. I didn't run it very long because the sound it makes is very loud and the camera doesn't do justice for that, but if you were here you'd probably be putting your hands on your ears. Now I'm going to discharge the capacitors, or short them, by putting a metal object that is insulated from me between the spark gap electrodes. Do this because they may store charge, and if you discharge it, or short it out, you'll be safe. 